So in this next video, we're going to look at importing objects from other software. We're going to start off by looking at the SketchUp warehouse. Um, as you know, the SketchUp warehouse, so the 3D warehouse as it's now called, has a load of different models of all sorts of things like furniture, cars, uh, trees, um, lots of different kind of content and things that you can import, even full models actually of buildings. So we're going to search through some of these and let's kind of see if we can find something we like the look of. Um, I guess for me, there's a lot of variation on the SketchUp warehouse or 3D warehouse. Some of it's pretty good and some of it's maybe not what you're after. But let's go for it. Let's download this one bedroom ranch floor. That'll be a nice little example. So we'll just let that download and let's have a look at how we can import that. So, so click on the plus sign to start importing files. Let's go and select the model that we've just downloaded from our downloads folder. And you can see we can import SketchUp files without any kind of um, other process, basically. Now, when you do import, make sure you try to have a look at the options. And I would recommend you keep hierarchy uh, or you can do collapse by material. Collapse by material means that all the materials in the SketchUp file will come through as one material, one object. Or keep hierarchy allows you to actually keep the individual objects. Let's go ahead and click import and it'll process the data if it's reading in successfully. And then sometimes it'll be in the middle of nowhere, so you have to kind of zoom in, zoom out. Good little tip here is to click onto the model and you can click F to fit to the model. So we can kind of give a little bit of an orbit round and have a look at our SketchUp model that we've imported. Um, one thing you notice is the textures come through pretty nicely. Um, basically, we can then replace different materials or textures as required. So that's quite straightforward. And you'll notice that everything that was one material in SketchUp will now be replaced with the new texture or material we apply in Twinmotion. So they come through pretty well. Um, and the fact that you can import just native SketchUp files as well as things like FBX files, uh, Revit files, Archicad, and also VectorWits via Cinema 4D is a real bonus. Okay, so let's go back to the 3D warehouse. Let's choose um, some other items. Let's have a look for maybe some more furniture based stuff. So we'll kind of search for chair and we'll kind of scroll down. Uh, you see what I mean? There's a bit of a variety of objects. Make sure you choose something nice. So we're going to download this particular chair back to Twin Motion and we're going to click import once again and select our model. Click open. Let's go and select the latest chair we've downloaded. Click open. And this time we'll click uh, options and we will actually select the option for collapse by material again. Um, let's kind of see if we can find the chair. Here we go. Let's click on it and zoom in a little bit. Sometimes in the middle of nowhere, as I say. So if you click F, it'll fit to the chair. Other than that, though, the geometry is coming pretty well. It looks quite nice and curved, um, quite smooth. And there's nothing to stop us now from perhaps going down, let's say, select some, say, fabric. Um, and we can drag maybe a nice kind of fabric material onto the chair. And you can see if we were to zoom in a bit here, maybe see a little bit more kind of closely, some nice sort of textures on there. Now you can still colorize that texture, just like we've shown you before in previous videos. And you can fiddle around with the other parameters. Oh, I guess reflection won't make a difference, but things like this scale of the texture will make quite a bit of difference on these individual textures. So let's have a quick look at maybe applying some uh, wood onto the legs. Uh, just be a bit careful with the woods. Most of the twin motion woods are to do with things like floors and things as opposed to individual textures. Let's drag some sort of metal legs on there. You can see that's looking a lot more realistic. So that's kind of cool. So basically any of these objects can be made into user library objects. And you can see in the organizational palette, you can actually basically right click um, and essentially collapse the hierarchy, but we can also add to user library. Now, when we add to user library, as we've said before, we go back to our library, click on user library here, and you can see here's the chair we just made. We can just drag it straight in from there. And actually there was the previous texture from one of the previous videos we also made. Um, so we actually need to maybe create a new folder, right click, rename the folder. Uh, let's call this, uh, yeah, let's call this custom furniture. That's cool. And then once we've done that, we can essentially drag our new custom furniture item into there. So we can rename that at any time as well, which makes it a lot easier for us to search for in the future. So 
One of the lovely things with Twinmotion is it does ship with a massive library of textures and materials and objects, but we can easily build our own big library over time of our favorite imported materials and textures.